Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my budget Spike Brothers Cardfight Vanguard standard deck profile for November 2019. Wanted to do an update to the Spike Brother deck post the Raging Tactics for the more budget variant of the deck, and I'm really happy with the results of what I was able to come up with for the Spike Brother deck. Focusing on Unite Tacker is one of the main ones to go into since it gives you more options for calling out units while being, like I said, very budget friendly just for all the value of the cards in the deck. I didn't want to focus on too many of the uh, triple rare grade twos or the Vanguard rare grade threes that really add up the price for a lot of cards. This one I'd say is quite affordable all in all for all the different units you run in the deck and the results of the deck and what it's supposed to do also came together pretty well just for the soul buildup for United Attacker and all the power ups you can get with your units and the different force markers we run in the deck also. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off with the grade threes, for one of our main ones, I decided to go with Unite Attacker for the uh, grade three unit. With this one, once per turn, Soul Blast 7, look at five cards on the top of your deck, call up to five cards from among them to rear, put all the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Three of your front row units get plus 5,000 until end of turn. So just having this pressure gives you uh, options to basically set up all your rear guards on the field. With the Soul Blast 7, which we have a good amount of other units in the deck, just made to build up the soul and then uh, having power with them also definitely does help three different units that um, encourage that and also just you know relying on anything else that doesn't really use soul helps to build this up for unite attacker making this the main play to go for you have multiple in here you don't have to necessarily use the first unite attacker for the uh, skill you can always ride one and then go into the next one building up your force markers along with also the soul every time you ride into a new united attacker to go for the main focus of the play which is its soul blast and also being a budget variant deck goes off of that plus also making the deck a lot of fun having the chance to build up for this skill with this card and i'd say it's almost as close to the mega blast that we had with the original united attacker having the counter blast five soul blast eight keeping it very close and similar to this card with that skill. So very, very fun and really helpful and happy that this card also has a force marker because it makes it all the better when you want to ride it on the Vanguard Circle for that play. For the backup grade 3 in the deck, I decided to stick with Juggernaut Maximum. It's not that expensive of a grade 3 and definitely helpful just for the overall fact that on Vanguard or Rear when placed, this unit gets plus 10,000 until end of turn. And on Rear at the beginning of your main phase, put this unit into your soul, search your deck for up to 1 Juggernaut Maximum, call it to your rear, and shuffle your deck. So it builds up the soul for your main play in the deck. And also just being able to call it another Juggernaut Maximum means I want to max this card out at 4. But also the fact that it is a grade 3 with a magic imaginary gift force gives us that extra bonus of being able to ride this card giving us the plus 10 also the additional force marker on whichever circle we want but then also being able to build up the soul if you call this card to rear and call out more juggernaut maximums also sifting through the deck so you can get triggers easier is what i like with all the different units we have in this deck that have the put into soul plus power and then calling out the additional unit onto the field for this card so definitely four of this also and for the final grade three spot still like to run the 10 overall just for uh, consistent rides force markers and power units on the rear i run two bad end dragger this card doesn't use soul blast which is one thing i tried to stray away from with all the different ones i use in the deck aside from a few i would say they were just um, either needed or in the end make up for the soul blast that they use so i run the two bad end dragger on vanguard or rear when it attacks counter plus one and put a rear guard on the bottom of your deck this unit gets plus 5000 in extra critical until end of that battle and when wrote upon call this card to rear retire all of your opponent's rear guards in the column and it was called to so more retire power with uh this one uh with that uh effect but also just having the option as a backup grade three comes in handy it does call it out of the uh soul to rear uh, but that's only if the additional uh, option comes up that you have to ride this unit and then you ride into another one but you can easily still make up the grade three soul with this card when that situation happens and that's why i only like to run the two bad end dragger it's also just affordable like the other grade threes in the deck so i decided to stick it to that number 
And that is it for the grade threes. We'll move on to the grade twos. I run four high speed Brocky with this one on rear one place. This unit gets plus 10,000 until end of turn. And on rear at the beginning of your main phase, put this unit into your soul. Search your deck for up to one high speed Brocky and call it to your rear and shuffle your deck. It's basically juggernaut maximum, aside from the fact that maximum is a grade three with the force marker. So you have that option. And it's only a rear guard one. It doesn't have the plus power like uh, juggernaut maximum on Vanguard either. It has to be a rear guard call, but this is just a another grade two that gives us that soul build up for calling out additional Brockies sifting through the deck. So if you have Juggernaut Maximum and Brocky on rear, putting each one into the soul, builds up the soul quicker and quicker, but also calls new units with new power each turn to use. And then also just giving you more and more cards to sift through when you go for your main grade three Mega Blast for the deck. So definitely a four high speed Brocky, just like Juggernaut. You want to max out those cards for those options. And I also am still running four Revenge Thaddeus. We don't really run too, too many cards that rely on counter blasts in the deck. So having this card just be our option for retiring cards. On rear, when it attacks, counter blast one, move all of your force markers to this unit circle. And on rear, when it attack hits, if this unit circle has a force marker, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. So you have the option if you need it for this card to get the additional force markers. Depending on if you use force one, you can get all the plus 10 power to this card so you can have the guaranteed attack it. Uh, most the time if I use force two I don't necessarily have to use the first effect I'll spread the force two markers evenly amongst all the cards in the field for the additional critical so then this card can rely on that one for the pressure but having the attack hits if this unit circle has the force marker and getting that retire also does come in handy when I want to take out my opponent's units that are just being pesky on the field and making my opponent use uh, more and more resources for their cards from their hand onto the field for their plays so fourth Thaddeus definitely does come in handy there also the biggest thing with this deck is we don't really have too too many grade twos that have vanguard abilities but you can all rely on that just for the rear guard pressure you can use when calling out other ones to the field also and lastly, for the grade two spot, I run three Treasured Black Panther. This one is the one that I was debating on for the fact that it uses the Soul Blast when it attacks, but also when it attacks, Soul Blast one, this unit gets plus 5,000 or plus 15,000 until end of battle. If it gets plus 15,000, put this unit into your soul at the end of that battle. So the Soul Blast you do, and then putting this card into the soul kind of makes up for it overall, meaning you um, used a card for its power, but putting Treasured Black Panther into the soul is a uh, one for one swap. I would say, meaning you get the one card used for its power, and then putting it back into the soul. You do you lose the one uh, rear guard, but that can easily be made up for later on when you use Unite Attacker Soul Blasts, meaning you're less rear guards on the field, but that's less for your opponent to attack into, but all the more for you to invest into with this card's play also. I only run the three, though. You really don't need the max of this card, plus other cards like Thaddeus having the retire power and just the force marker power for pressure comes in handy a lot more, not requiring a soul blast or anything like that also. Also, but just having a more budget-friendly grade 2 option also with this card was one of the top reasons I picked it for the deck also. And that is it for the grade 2s. We'll now move on to the grade 1s. Just like High Speed Brocky and Juggernaut Maximum, I run 4 Wonder Boy for the sole fact that it has the put into soul effect to call out another wonder boy and also when placed put a non-grade one card from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck and this unit gets plus 5,000 until end of turn when placed you can recycle cards like brocky or juggernaut if they're in the drop zone from healing them from a trigger or if they were also there because you placed them from another uh skill for the soul blast let's say from united attacker if you have wonder boy late game but still additional units of those two cards to call out having them be recycled with wonder boy definitely does come in handy and it also puts it on the bottom of the deck so there's no chance that you will drive check them either with this card and it gives you the uh, plus 5,000 it's not 10,000 like Brocky or Juggernaut it's not as strong but I'd say the consistency for the recycle effect that this card has definitely does make up for it also and putting into the soul adds more to Unite Attacker as well. And I'm also trying four of the new Jackknife Janus with this one on rear at the end of the battle that it boosted a rear guard. If that unit circle has a force marker, counter blast one, put that rear guard into your soul and draw a card. So this card, once again, more soul build up. The whole point of the deck works great with Thaddeus being able to set up if you don't have the proper force marker on that circle you want to go for. And then being able to rely on that with these two cards together definitely does come in handy for the draw power alone and also for the soul build up, but also just being able to uh, plan it out with Thaddeus where you want but also if you have the proper uh, force marker on the one circle you can always just call Jackknife Janus to the rear guard circle behind the unit that has that force marker as well for that play. 
And then for the last grade one spot, I decided to fit the Sentinel into this spot just because the draw trigger Sentinels can sometimes be a little pricey depending on where you get them from. I have two Sweetie Guards and two Cheer Gold Jamie. Uh, if you want to just run the Sweetie Guard for the generic spot, it's completely up to the player here or there uh, for these. When placed, discard a card from your hand and one of your units cannot be hit until the end of that battle. It literally shares the same effect as uh, Cheer Girl Jamie, uh, Sweetie Guard. Just having the additional effect when play, draw a card, discard a card from your hand. So I would definitely want to run four. I just didn't have any more uh, sweet guards for the deck also, but this is just the easy budget sentinel spot for the grade one as well to use. And then for the trigger lineup for the starters, also in the grade zeros, Mecha Trainer, it's just the generic when wrote upon draw card starter for the deck. And then for the trigger lineup, decide to go with the eight critical and the four draw. You can try out the six draw, but that's also depending if you go for the Sentinel version as well. So four Kill Parade Mavis and four Silence Joker for the eight critical. And then for the draw, I run the four Cheerful Links just for the standard draw trigger. And lastly, the four Cheer Girl Tiara for the heal trigger for the deck. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm still looking to get the Tachi Kaze deck out for the deck profile as well, so definitely look forward to that. We also have the new Infinity AD Cradle booster hack coming out soon, so definitely look forward to openings from that and deck profiles as well. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.